Good morning, good morning. Live from the rainy streets of New York City. Has it been uh, just uh, horrible there? Like yes. To, yeah, it has been the worst spring, but I think we're about to make the turn, and hot weather is on the way, Peter. Yeah, well, this is because we have a terrible mayor and a terrible mm-hmm. governor. That's what I figured. <laughs> this is all political. Yeah, they, in the good old days, we could blame everything on the Russians. Now we'll keep it domestic. Yeah, yeah. Well, we still could, Peter, I guess. Uh, okay, uh, New Jersey, I, I saw that they have uh, they have discovered a great white shark d- detected roughly 20 miles off the coast of Belmar, New Jersey. Yeah, so now I know what your your listeners are thinking. They're saying, what do they care about a shark yeah. off the coast of New Jersey? I'll tell you why. Because we're sending it up the Hudson, baby. <laughs> you are. Oh, right up our way. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. we got a whale floating around that they've been trying to get. Uh, they want to get it before... Uh, a freighter or a tanker hits it. It's in the harbor because I've pointed out to you nice people that it's not the East River, it's not the Hudson River, it's right. not the Harlem River. They're estuaries. It's the ocean. We get sharks and whales and all that kind of great stuff that Nantucket usually gets. So anyway, my proposal is we'll chase the whale out into the ocean, but the shark will send up to you. Okay, we'll take the... Uh well, I think that's the Jaws theme playing in the background right now, Peter, as a matter of fact. Oh, okay. Uh, See, that's you got a technical it, staff yeah. that's ready to go, and we hadn't even discussed Bingo. it. Be Just careful like who that. you let in your cab. That is exactly. important, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, what, was the, uh, what was the old SNL bit? Uh, pizza delivery or pizza gram. Um, <laughs> are the Yankees boast the American League's second best record in some of the game's most exciting young players? It makes me sick to say that as a Mets fan. Yeah. Yet, Peter Franklin... Uh, they keep saying that the financial problems uh, are, are are really imminent for the uh, for the Yankees. Is, what are you hearing? Yeah, well, about it's, this? it's it's the classic case of you know the the next generation of the kids take over a family business yep. and screw it up. Mm-hmm. And he is the richest team in the world with all the money, wins all the World Series and all that kind of stuff. And the stands are empty. I mean, not every day, but you know some of the big games, of course, are packed. But you know, let's say the ordinary teams, whatever they are. They're not getting the audience at all, and then I make a comment that they are nice. Not, they are not nice people, and the reason I'm making that point in my caustic way is that under the father, they did all kinds of public spirited things and gave out this and did this. These kids of his are not really very community oriented. Um, boy, they spend uh, they spend a lot of money on baseball, uh, but then again, so do the Mets, and it is not working out for us right now. Uh, months-long media buzz, I find this interesting, surrounding the sale of the property at 8515 Wareham Place near Henley Road is where who was born and lived until he was four? Mr. Trump was, and I have a picture of it on the website. The reason I did that is that, you know, it's always that he was just handed everything he got by his daddy, which he says he paid back, so that wasn't just handed then. And his father didn't start off a rich guy. So, you know, I, it's sort of like there's some kind of connection that the Trump family made all the money they made, and maybe that's bad. Yeah. Anyway, you can see how he started off. Uh, now, the side story to all of that is that nobody's really taking care of the house. Nobody's living in it. And so the neighbors are starting to complain about, you know, somebody hasn't mowed the lawn mm. and hasn't done this, that, and the other thing. Yeah. I'm sure now that it's on my website, Mr. Yeah. Trump will clean it up. Yeah, they'll be all over it. By the way, it is funny, though. I mean, the president sometimes brings these things on himself, uh, most times. But when, because, and, and everybody's okay with it. Remember, this was all on the campaign trail, and he was elected president and all of that. But when he says, I received a small $1 million loan or whatever it was from my father, the the average American looks at that and like, a, a small I $1 won. million? Dollar? I won! This would be... <laughs> You know, uh, use it like that. Well, Twenty insight. bucks, please. I'm, I'm going to tell you, give you the inside story on Trump. Yeah, it's like the first part of the beginning of the paragraph of he says maybe going in the right direction, but he never ends up right. I mean, in uh, other words, he should have said, my dad gave me the million dollars. Right. And then he should go on to say, I worked very hard. to blah, Correct. Blah, blah, blah. You know, yeah. he, he never puts the second half he can never He can never make it uh, so that everybody looks at it and says, wow, that's really, uh, that's really yeah, incredible. It's, it's and, a second half theory. Yeah. Uh, okay, and uh, first Amazon Books location is now open in New York City and the world's coming to an end. What do you think? Yeah, well, now that they put everybody out of business, <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not anti-Amazon. I mean, I've used them and everything. I, I will warn everybody, boy, if you're going to make a return, you've got to make it real fast. 
because they got a lot of these deals where, oops, well, you had that four days, now you can't return it. But be that as it may, they're knocking everybody out of the box, and now they're starting their first store in New York mm. City. And they're going to be doing this. an interesting development. They're, they're going to so do this. That's going to open in a little while, and I, yeah. you know, I know everybody's going to run over just to see it. Well, they're going to be doing this delivery, I think. You're going to see that, and it's perfect for a city like New York where they try to do... I don't know how these drones get through these buildings, all the buildings, but they're going to be delivering same-day delivery. It's kind of wild. Well, but see, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm selling steel helmets. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> I like that. And finally, Peter, I just want you, uh, this is off script, if you don't mind. Um, I, want, I want you, we're planning a trip to, uh, to New York uh, coming up soon for my daughter's birthday. Who's her? By the way, my daughter's birthday celebration usually goes on for about a month, and it'll continue. How old is she? <laughs> she has just turned fifteen. So, are you, uh, are you serious? Yeah, yeah. You don't bring a fifteen-year-old girl. To <laughs> there goes Peter. <laughs> you think no. she's going to go home? So to I just the want. Uh, so advice would be: I used to be the. I always drive to New York. I love driving through the streets of New York, and I truly do. I pass the cabs, and you know, people give me dirty looks, and Peter yells at me for it. But I do want to say, taking the train down, um, it's. It's. I like it. Um, I really like it a lot. So, what's your advice to people when they're coming down? Come down by train. I mean, yep. got, well, first of all, I love trains. I mean, I'm still playing with my kids' trains that they left in the house. <laughs> I mean, that's a that's a Franklin thing. But if they're coming down, come down by train. And then what you want to do is you want to go to the neighborhoods. Manhattan is all very nice, and it's the biggest, the best, the largest, the greatest, the most wonderful. But take a subway ride out to Coney Island. Go up to the Bronx Zoo. Take the ferry boat over to Staten Island. And once you get to Staten Island, go around Staten Island. What I'm suggesting is that you do the stuff that you just don't normally yeah. do. Yeah. You'll get a lot more out of the city. And the best tour is the one that Peter gives. It's at gabby.com. Well, Peter, thanks so much. Thank and you. Bye-bye. We'll talk again next week. Peter Franklin in New York City.